KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. Weather Extreme Video, this is the afternoon edition for Friday the 25th of January. I'm James Spann. Weather for the weekend, pretty quiet, but next week, the chance of snow for parts of Alabama Tuesday, then very cold air blows in here. So that'll be the focus, and let's go in and see if we can answer all your questions, do the best we can to do that. This is the uh, upper look, big trough over the eastern states. And it's a dry air mass, that's the uh, visible satellite view, got a few cirrus clouds over the southern part of the state, and that's about it. Temperatures are mostly in the 40s. Coleman 42, Decatur 38, but Tuscaloosa's managed 50. Another freeze coming up tonight will be in the 20s in most spots tomorrow morning. And around the nation, very cold up north. And you think it's cold now, where they're at like 10 below zero in the afternoon. They could be closer to 30 below zero in the afternoon by Wednesday of next week. And thankfully, we'll just catch the edge of that brutal air mass next week. There's a look at the uh, watch warning map. Very quiet day. Got some lake effect snow issues, and that's about it. Thunderstorms, nope. In fact, no worries with severe weather anytime soon. Precipitation for the next seven days, fairly light amounts for much of the country. In Alabama, the amount's under one-half inch, and the bulk of this will be Tuesday, and some of that's going to be in the form of rain. Some of it's going to be in the form of snow, we think. So, model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run. Valid tomorrow at noon, troughing over the east. And a dry day. We'll call it partly sunny. We start the day in the 20s. The high will be in the low 50s. Sunday. Little clipper passes north of the state, but I think will stay dry. A mixture of clouds and sunshine high should be in the middle 50s. Let's go to Monday. We're still dry. We'll be close to 60 Monday. That'll feel pretty good, but uh, check the clipper up north. It's over southern Wisconsin, and that thing will be racing south. And by Tuesday, it blows through here. The Arctic front will probably come through early Tuesday morning with falling temperatures. Uh, let's look at the European. This is uh, 6 o'clock. And you can see as early as 6 a.m., we might have some snow going over northwest Alabama. It starts as rain during the pre-dawn hours, then changes to snow as the cold air deepens quickly behind the Arctic front. By noon, there's a chance we could see snowflakes down into south Alabama. Now, the better chance of accumulating snow over the northern half of the state. And then by 6 o'clock, it's all over. So this uh, snow event Tuesday will be mainly during the morning hours. And you can see the uh, temperature progression. This is 6 a.m. Tuesday. You can pick out the Arctic front there. Uh, Birmingham's at 41 at that point. And again, Birmingham could see some light rain. The Shoals at 25. They should be in snow at that point. Uh, Memphis down to 18. Then by 6 o'clock, the GF or the European here drops it down to 18 at Huntsville, 21 at Birmingham. This might be a little too aggressive, but it's not totally out of the question. But clearly, everybody should be below freezing by late morning or afternoon. And uh, that certainly increases the potential for icy travel initially on the bridges and then ultimately the roads as the cold air deepens uh, Tuesday night. And we're almost within 72 hours, not quite. So it's a little early for a, an accumulation specific forecast. But let me just throw out the European ensemble mean. You got 50 members. You average them out. This is what you come out with. And uh, this is suggesting uh, snow amounts between uh, one and three inches for the northern half of the state. And uh, probably no accumulation for South Alabama, but maybe a few snowflakes even all the way down to the Florida state line. Uh, but I think it's clear we can say at this point there is pretty good potential for icy travel Tuesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning with rapidly falling temperatures. Uh, we all know that the ice accretion process on roads is different when it gets really cold around here. And uh, this could be a disruptive type event. Again, the snow is not going to be that heavy. Typically, moisture is limited. And in the overall scheme of things, that's not much. But we all know around here, it doesn't take a lot to cause big problems. So, again, snow Tuesday morning. The chance of accumulating snow for the northern half of the state. And uh, the chance of icy travel Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. So we'll be much more specific this weekend. Uh, Wednesday, wow. That's your polar vortex over Michigan. Those heights are remarkably low for 500 millibars. Wow, under 5,000 meters and 
Uh, that That's a 1045 high, an Arctic high over the Dakotas. Screaming winds over the, the Great Lakes. Uh, brutally cold wind chill values, just dangerously low there. And for us, Wednesday will be dry. Uh, we start the day, I'd say, in the upper teens. The high will be in the 30s. And Thursday, the same thing. I think we start the day in the teens, the high in the 30s. Um, and thankfully, we're just on the edge of that brutally cold air mass. And Friday of next week, we're still dry with a high in the 40s. About 10 days, Monday the 4th of February, a zonal flow and a warmer type setup there with showers north and west of the state. Numbers coming off the European. You can see the big drop middle of next week. It's got us down to 15 Wednesday morning. And then temperatures slowly climb back up as we get into that first week of February. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. My next video will be here Monday morning at 7 o'clock. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.